Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are gonna just random. Um, I think now uh, I'm just gonna be using the random feature a bit more and seeing who we get. And we got Fiend who is someone we haven't played as in quite a long time. So definitely an interesting one. Obviously this guy is a little bit of a tricky bugger. Ooh, I got an email. One second. Okay, we are back. That email was just spam. Great. But we're back playing the Fiend. And yes, I have had a bit of a, a bit of a revelation over the last few days, and it's something that I very much need to discuss with everyone that watches the Isaac series, because it pertains to all of you. So, as you guys may have witnessed, as you guys may have realized, the last two episodes that I um, that I released, also this guy looked great with Kern head on. Um, the last two episodes I released didn't go so great for me. Um, I was getting a bit frustrated. Oh, this is a horrible room. Okay, luckily, we've uh, managed to deal with it mostly. It's one of those rooms where you just kind of have to wait before these guys destroy everything until they apparently destroy themselves. It's rather nice. Okay. Good, good. We'll try our best to get some extra hearts out of our fires here, but we, we'll see. Um... But yeah, so as you guys probably noticed in the last few episodes, the last two episodes specifically, I didn't have a good time. I wasn't enjoying myself, and the run, the runs were just pretty horrifically bad. Um, and I don't know, it got me thinking, and it, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. And I was talking about it a little bit in the episode, basically thinking about like what is my genuine exit strategy for when I want to stop doing Isaac, because although that isn't quite yet, it's probably not going to be too far off. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing Isaac daily for, I think, I think, well, since the day Repentance came out, which I think is getting on for three years now. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a very, very long time. Um, and I've done thousands of episodes. And yeah, it's, it's get, like, basically it's just gotten to the point now where even with the mods, there isn't enough, like, enough freshness. Ooh. Um, that's pretty good. There isn't sort of enough there, like enough new mods coming out regularly to sort of keep me constantly super engaged. And I, that doesn't mean I don't like the game and it doesn't mean that I aren't enjoying it when I do play it because I am enjoying it most of the time. But I've just been having this this sort of back of my mind nagging feeling. Really, that bomb didn't hit you. Can we can we not with you guys, please? Um, I've just been having this sort of nagging feeling that it's like... It's getting to the point where it's kind of time to... Oh, that was bad. I, I didn't realize it was techno pin, so I didn't really move out the way there. Um, it's getting to the point where it's kind of time to sort of say, like, what what are we actually realistically going to do when we want to either stop slash slow down Isaac? And I basically want your guys' opinion, because sort of my, my two thoughts is either we go cold turkey and we just stop Isaac altogether for at least a little while. We don't completely remove it altogether, but we just stop it for a little bit and see how it goes and fill fill that slot with other things. Or, I think obviously the preferable version is Isaac becomes a series like any other on my channel. Ooh, we'll take that. Um, random bombs. Ooh, hell. Uh, Chariot, Ace of Hearts. I think I'll take the Ace of Hearts over everything. Um... Yeah, or, or, or the, the other thing is Isaac just becomes a series like any other on my channel, in which I mean that um, it's it's only a few times a week, maybe two to three times a week rather than every day. And I think that's the preferable version for everyone because then people that still like Isaac still get Isaac, but then people that like the other stuff that I do will get to see more of the other stuff that I do. Also, I will lose my Holy Mantle for this because it's a double look penny. Apparently, it didn't destroy my Holy Mantle. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my thought process right now, and it's kind of somewhat the question of the day. What, what, how many of you only watch Isaac, and if I stop doing Isaac, will just stop watching? Um, and how many of you would be okay if Isaac was a little less often? Um, I'm just curious for when we do that. Basically, so I've got, I've got kind of two, two sort of big milestones in my head that are kind of my my guiding light for when I should be when I should be taking my break, taking my step back a little bit. So one of them is that I'm fast approaching 2000 hours on Isaac. Um I am um, what does this do? Ooh, that would be kind of nice. Um 
Yeah, I am on 1,990 hours right now, so I'm fast approaching 2,000 hours, and I'm like, maybe 2,000 hours is a good is a good point to, to 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 reel it back in a little bit. So that's kind of one. The other one, which is actually more important to me, <laughs> is that um, most of you that comment on the videos or read through the comments will have noticed that for the longest time we've had um, a user doing a comment streak, and that comment streak is is quick approaching 1,000 days in a row. Uh, we're currently at 900, and I think this, is, I think this will be 901, uh, but I think we're at 900 as of this episode, so I think this episode will be 901. Um, and so I'm kind of like, maybe I should just go until we get to a thousand comment streak before I slow down the Isaac or stop it. But at the same time, even if I do slow down Isaac rather than just outright stop it, this, the comment streak can still continue on my other videos. It doesn't have to be specifically on Isaac. Uh, so that that isn't like a hard sort of... Um, a hard sort of line, but that's kind of one that I'm like that'd be kind of interesting. But that the the the, the sort of caveat with that is a hundred days is like m most of the it, like it, it's like it's like a a good third of the year almost. Um, so it's kind of like that's quite a long time to wait before I call it when I'm already feeling like I want to call it, you know. So that that's kind of like why I'm not thinking about um about that idea. But yeah, I know this is probably a bit depressing for some of you that really enjoy this as a daily series, but like I said, one of the things that you've got to remember is this, it, it's not as if I'm gonna just completely stop doing YouTube or like massively slow down my content. Also, why did I not use Ace of Hearts in that room? Perfect room for it. Absolutely perfect room for it. Um. But it, it basically just means that the se the other series you guys like can can be more regular. I mean, Enter the Gungeon is always a staple on my channel. I haven't been playing it much at the minute just because I haven't really had the extra time. But if I'm not doing Isaac, I'll have more time so I can do more Enter the Gungeon. Um, I can bring back old series that people like, like Peglin. I know Peglin's always been popular on my channel. Um, I can go into Voidigo again. I can do more Risk of Rain videos. There's just... Wait, does this work on here? Yes, it does. Okay. Didn't know if it would work on these guys, but it very much does. Good, good, good. Right, um... Yeah, so... It's like, the, the, there's there's good reasons to slow down as well. It's not just all, like, removing Isaac. I think just bringing back more variety. Basically, my, my biggest worry... My biggest worry is over the last three years, I've built up Isaac as the mainstay of my channel. And if I remove it or slow it down drastically, I'm worried that I'll have a massive drop off in viewership and it'll ruin my channel. Which is always the case when someone's got a heavy niche and they try to branch out. Like, that's always the worry a YouTuber's going to have in that case. So, it's just kind of, it's kind of difficult. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure when I want to do it or how I want to do it. Um... It's just something that I think I, I, I ought to disclose to you guys because it is something I have been thinking about um, over the past few days, especially. It's something that I've been more sort of seriously talking about. Um, ooh. I think I'm going to take both of these, to be honest. They're both very good. I can't remember what that does. Enemies that come close to you become crippled. Your tears can always cripple enemies. Ooh. It's risky, but I'm going to take all three here. I'm going to take all three. And that's a pretty damn good devil deal there. Um, and the crippling thing can be potentially pretty goddamn good. But what we got going on here... Consumes all the pickups in the room and grants a small but permanent damage up for each. Ooh, that's, that's probably worthwhile. I think I'll come back to that in a second once I've got an extra charge for this active. And used it. I think that could be pretty good. I think a Thames gonna be the real the real winner of this run at the moment. Yeah. As as shown. I'll pop that. Didn't really give us much, but there you go. I'll give that. It's not a lot, but we can get some interesting stuff out of this potentially. Wow, that bounced right back at me, didn't it? Right back at me. Basically any room with any more than three consumables, we we, we wanna be uh, using our beacon, I think. Like that's that's pretty useful. Like it's not great, but it'll stack up over time pretty quickly. So we like it. So we like it. I'm just gonna be careful about getting hearts and, and using my uh, using my fireballs effectively. Oh, dude, yes, a theme. 
You beauty. You beauty. Ooh, yes, please. Some more damage there, baby. Very good stuff there. Very good stuff indeed. Ooh, that's become a water bottle as well. We'll check what's going on in here. Oh my god, that therm circle was thick. Okay, you guys decided to spawn literally on top of me. Not a huge fan of that. Can't remember what Bearthright does on this character, but we will take it for now. I think I get better, like higher damage based on the thing that I that I suck up as well, because I got I got a lot more there for only a few things. Oh, I've got I've got purple fires now. That's that's part of what uh, what that does, what my Bearthright does. I've got purple fires now. Where's my purple fires at? Give me more. Give me more, give me more. Good, give me that back. Check what's going on in here. Um, I guess for now we're just going to grab that and then you. We did get a purple fire here. Didn't do much different, I don't think. Got some of those. Good, good. We got another purple fire ready and raring to go here. Hey, beautiful stuff. Right, see that item room and stuff here? Yeah, I gotta say, this this uh, active is gonna be pretty goddamn good over the course of the run. I think we got it early enough for it to make a decent difference. Oh, lovely stuff. I don't know if just hitting them with the fire means that when they die, they can produce it. Uh, are they homing? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that you were doing that, good sir. That was close. That was very close. Why? Why aren't my black hearts turning in back into black hearts? I noticed that earlier. Yeah, my black hearts aren't turning back into black hearts. Fuck it. Let's 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 ball here. Yeah, but I don't know why my black hearts when they die, when they, they get thrown on the floor are not turning back into black hearts. Which is slightly sketchy for me here. Yes, that's some strong herming there, baby. Some strong herming. We like that. We like that. Yeah, basically having high health in this guy doesn't mean much, so trading it away is absolutely fine. Sadly, no more purple fires for us. Yeah, and also, as you can see, we're, we're easily getting a lot of health back. Black art, lovely. Not that I'll end up getting it back. Oh, there's a luck penny in there, god damn it. I mean, I got more, I got more damage out of it because it was a luck penny. But, considering we've got um, a theme, I would have rather had the luck, to be honest. Good, good, good. I want a room that's just got an insane amount of consumables in it to get, like, a plus one damage up from this active. That'd be insane. Lovely. Yeah, you see what I mean? I managed to get my health up to a, a pretty reasonable level pretty quickly. Let me check what's going on here as well. Sell items or pick um, pickups in target mark. Kind of interesting. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I'm tap firing constantly so I can use my fireballs whenever they're ready. Seems like the best possible way to utilize this guy. Uh, I'm not going to go straight to the boss here because I'd rather see if I can get a bit more health first. Also, item room is still not being found. 
But yeah, Isaac's just one of those series that I, I, I truly love because it's just such an outlet for me. Like, the ability to just chat shit for like... 40 minutes is is really nice. I really like that. It's, it's it's quite useful just for my mental health of being able to just like get out my frustrations. Even if I'm not talking about them specifically, it's just nice. Alright, give me that back. God damn you. Are you going to jump over the wall now or not? This guy does not want to jump over this wall. There you go. We got him. We got him. Right. Item Rim had to be all the way back there, didn't it? But yeah, it's, it's nice to have this series as like a staple. Um, but at the same time, like, like I, I don't want to get stuck in Isaac. And I'll be honest as well, another another reason sort of for thinking this is over the last year, the, the views on my Isaac videos have just been gradually going down. So the interest in Isaac as a, as a whole is, is dwindling. At least in the, the the type of content I make, long form content. So it's like maybe maybe it's just time for to try new things, sort of thing. It's it's getting to that time. Right, don't shoot these guys until they're over the gap. So I want to try and get fires out of them. Uh, fires hearts. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. That was abysmal. Wow. That was very very silly of me. Ooh, extra heart there. Lovely. Lead pencil. I will take a double of it. Apparently, we just don't take reflected damage as this character, which I'm intrigued by. I doubt lead, having double lead pencil does anything for us. But I'm happy for the item nonetheless. Lovely. Good stuff. Okay, we've managed to gain a, a half-decent amount of damage out of this. I think we've gained about 0 0.5 damage out of this so far. Something near to that, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's just keep her moving. Let's just keep her moving. Hey, it was a luck upgrade penny as well. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, double a theming. That guy was... Oh, a theme seems to be able to generate uh, fires for us, which is really nice. Wasn't expecting that. Dude, those rock spike things are just horseshit, man. <laughs> this should give us some damage. Ah, we lost some damage. It's okay. Lemon we got a very big old lemon party there. Hellfire will take. Guppy's eyes, nice. Camping Conception's potentially pretty good, but not with Soul Heart Health, really. So I'm just going to keep going. Not bad run. Not bad run. We've got some interesting stuff going on. Still haven't found an Eternal Heart from taking damage yet from our Trinket, but then again, we don't know what the chances of that happening are, so it could be really, really low. But in theory, we should gain more damage now from our active item because we've got the suppository. So we'll keep an eye on the damage we're gaining from, like, single pennies and stuff to see. Who's going to die? Good. And here we get Scapula, which is actually not a bad thing for this character. Just as a bit of backup safety. Just as a bit of backup safety to make sure. Right. Ow, as if I hit myself on that guy. That was very stupid. It's okay, though. I'm liking this run so far. Right, do you want to throw your head through and over here? Thank you. And good old lead pencil doing some good work there. It seems to be if we get 0 0.2 damage, it's up to up upgraded to 0 0.3. 0 0.03, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Just be careful with this guy. Hippity hopping in his way around. I just need some fire rate increases. My fire rate is awful. 
I said I thought it was better before, but it's because I, I found that goddamn water bottle. After that water bottle disappeared, it's feeling a bit rough now. I'll take one key and poof the rest. Come on, a theme. Trigger and do something crazy. Or just don't trigger at all. How am I not hitting that guy? There you go. With Hellfire as well, we've got even more sort of chain reaction style stuff going on, which we love to see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we got some really crazy potential chain reactions going off with all the stuff we've got going on right now. I like that a lot. I like that a lot and a lot. Oh, God. Some bad hits there. Oh, that one did actually turn back into a black art. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that. Fire a bomb at that guy. Just does a ton of damage. There you go, baby. Oh, I missed, I missed one of those hearts. Probably should have sucked all this up. There was a lot of stuff there. It's alright. It's alright. Do you want to die, good sir? Yeah, my fire rate is, is really making things pretty rough right now. I'm kind of re relying on my fireball to do stuff, but lead pencil will get a lot better with higher fire rate too. It'll help a lot of things. It'll help a lot of things. Oh, thank you. Wasn't expecting that. You back yourself off, good sir. Unfortunately, no trinkets in here, just the trinket guy. Pretty terrible. What's going on in here? Oh, Lord. Why did you have to miss? You prick. Oh, fuck this, man. This, also, this is... I know this is really petty, but th these sort of rooms are another reason why at the minute I want to, like... I I've been, like, getting more and more frustrated with Isaac. Like... Obviously, I realize they're part of a mod, and technically, I could just remove the mod, but they're part of Fiend Folio. I don't want to remove Fiend Folio. Fiend Folio's ace. But, goddamn, these rooms just are so boring. <laughs> they just, they proper kill the momentum of your run, in my opinion. I know some people probably do like them, but for me, I just, yeah, I, I absolutely, I, I, I've, I've spoken on it many times. I really, really don't like them, and I think, I think it just makes runs really frustrating when you run into a room where it's basically just like, Haha, <laughs> you have to wait. Like, you can, you can kill these enemies easily, and you're probably not going to get hit by them. But we're just going to make you wait. For no real good reason. It's frustrating. Uh, another, another game that I have, sort of, because of the announcement of the second game coming out, I'm maybe thinking of bringing Slay the Spire back to the channel. I only played it briefly, and I'm not very good at it, but I think Slay the Spire could be a fun one to bring. I know a lot of people love Slay the Spire content, so people have to let me know what they think about that. There's some fire rate. We'll take Hellfire as well here. I think that's all we'll take from here. Yeah, um, so Slay the Spire is another one that I that I could I could see myself bringing in and, and potentially getting good at. I've, I've never really... I, I, I've beaten, I think, up to Ascension 2, but I've never really played it seriously enough to, like, get onto the higher Ascensions and stuff. Like, there's no enemies in this room. I just have to wait for this guy to do his stupid little thing. For, them to, for him to then just instantly die. Yeah, Wrath is going to help out a lot here. I like that, especially with a theme where it goes wild. And it do go wild with a the theme. Suck that up. Because it's a two-room charge, I might as well just use it like whenever I can, even if it's not much to suck up, especially red hearts that aren't useful to us. I got hit by something then, I don't know what. But I lost a full black heart because of it, I think. And oh, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. I need to come back and uh, suck those up. What the hell? How oh, are you not dead? Same with you, what the fuck? What the hell, Richard? Might want to play that dude. There you go, point ten. 
I'm still only just getting back up to the damage we were already on, which is a little sad. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Oh, no, not too bad at all, actually. thought that room was going to be really rough. Let's keep it going. Also, as well, another thing is I've just been enjoying, like, Nuclear Throne that has, like, shorter runs. The, the long runs on Isaac are fun, but, yeah, I have been enjoying the shorter runs. Again... Another one of these rooms. I, I like the way that, like, when it rains, it pours. I'm like, yeah, I don't like these rooms. And the, the game's like, oh. Oh, you disrespect me, sir? Let's, uh, let's make your life a living hell. Like, why can't I shoot him when there's no enemies left? Bish, why? It makes no sense. I should go and suck up on that room, to be fair. Ooh, god damn, that was a lot. Holy shit, okay, pills are, pills are worth more than I would have thought. Pills are worth more than I would have thought. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, the chain reactions on this run are very, very fun. There's a lot going on here. Dude, we're getting tons of damage from certain things, holy shit. Is worth two bombs, I think. Good old little black heart there. Not seen that shop yet, have we? That's potentially pretty goddamn good. Good old mad onion. Ooh, this is a this is a suck room and a half. Suck me, beautiful. Let's go. Man, these these enemies are well annoying. <laughs> Not too hard, they're just frustrating. Angle yourself to where I can kill you, prick. Right, back over here. Back into here. This this should be a good amount of damage here. Only 12? I mean, it's better than nothing, but I was expecting a lot more than that. I was expecting like 0 0.2 or something. Honestly, I'm going to take this. This trinket's not been good for us yet. The purple scuzzes, whatever they're called. More interesting, definitely. Look at this. It's fucking wild. Cursed eye. Ooh, baby. And it's a cursed eye in a space where I can't fucking get past it. Are you kidding me? I tried to do the trinket drop strategy to get past it. And I just walked right through my trinket for some reason. Well, that's good. Well, we have Cursed Eye now. We just gotta look for Black Candle, I guess. That's the, that's the shit that I'm looking for. Why am I only firing two tiers sometimes? Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm full charging and only firing two tiers sometimes. Unless they're just all stacked on top of each other, but I don't think that's the case. Being teleported out is actually really bad for us because I think we lose all the hearts. Fuck this. Absolutely fuck this. I didn't want Cursed Eye. The game made me fucking take it. Ugh! What am I talking about? Being frustrated with Isaac and it getting annoying? This is the shit, yeah. What, should we come in here? There'll be no hearts on the floor. Oh, no, there is. There is. Can you guys stop being technology pricks? I don't like it. We got ahead of the keeper from this guy, which is kind of nice. Buy that back. Yeah. Quickly go back into the shop. Lovely stuff. Okay, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to be firing a lot less tears sometimes, which is not... <laughs> F*** 
Fuck you, cast I. That's not funny. It's not funny, game. Got a devil deal there. Take that. Do you do brimstone? No, you don't. I thought so. You do whatever that is. Whatever the hell that is. Fuck up all black hearts there. Lump of coal is pretty good. Okay. Oh, where we go? Ugh, God damn it, cursed eye. How I love you. How everyone loves you. My god. The rooms, the chain reactions in some rooms is just wild. So that's a good amount of health as well here. Capping out at our broken heart limit. Almost. Yeah, don't step to me, boys. Once the chain reactions get a, get a going, everybody gets a dying. Point five damage, it's not a lot, but it's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. That's not worth anything to me, thank you. Big old troll bomb, no thanks, no thanks. But yeah, I, um, yesterday I ended up going to this, I think I mentioned it on one of my videos, I ended up going to this uh, boarding school uh, for something to do with work. And I was really not expecting it to go super well, I'll be honest. I was a bit pessimistic about it, and it went really, really well. So, I got some, um, I got some big, uh, big brownie points with, uh, with the old boss. Very, very nice. It, it made me feel much better, and also, it means that, yeah, I, I, like, just, <laughs> get some praise at work, which is always good, and hopefully I can leverage it into, uh, into, like, a raise in the future and stuff. I mean, I, I it, it essentially secured as a pretty potentially big client, so I think, I think it could. I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I, I think, I think that's definitely one of the, um, one of the things about, uh, about sort of what I've been talking about with, with stopping Isaac in the future. I think, the difference is, when I'm in a good mood like I am today, I actually really enjoy recording Isaac. I'm enjoying myself quite a lot right now. But when I'm in a bad mood and I have to record Isaac because I don't have a backlog, which I do try to avoid. I do try to make sure on my good days I record a few episodes so that I do have a backlog so that doesn't happen. But on occasion, I just don't have a backlog and I have to record, but I've maybe not had the best day or just maybe not into recording. Those are the ones that really make me go, ugh. Do I have to? And that's obviously not what I want. But those, those are the specific episodes where it's like, oh god. I'm not going to get the best commentary out of this one because I'm just not in it sort of thing. Um, so, like like I said, only recording a few times a week or doing like three episodes a week would help with... Oh, I got hit by something. I don't know what. Uh, only recording a few times a week would help with that drastically because um, then it would mean that I don't even know how, like, I don't even know. It's fucking miles away from where I was. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, like, only doing it a few times a week would just reduce the chances of that happening by quite, quite a bit. Reduce the chances of that happening by quite a bit means I wouldn't have to. It also mean it'd be a lot easier to build up a backlog too. So th there's just a lot of advantages and I'm just trying to sort of think through how I'm going to go about it and stuff. I have no idea what happened when I got hurt in this room so I'm just going to stare back now. Grab that heart where I can. Fireball managed to sneak its way through there. Fuck me. Look at this. This is wild. 
It is very wild, and I like it. Right. Again, let's be careful here. Well, that was good. Beautiful stuff. Everything taken care of. Ah, oh, there was... Uh, damn it. Where's my devil deal? There it is. Uh, I honestly think Ouija Ball is going to be pretty good, and the fire rate is very nice. Good stuff. Right, let's go. I'm actually really liking this run. This run's a lot of fun. I didn't think I'd have as good of a time with this character, but honestly, having this character plus um, pl plus Goat Head is really, really good. You just, there's so many ways to like gain more HP. And then also we've got whatever you want to call this going on, which is uh, something to behold, most certainly. Something to behold indeed. My god. Come back to me, Blackheart. Thank you. I don't even know how I was hit there. Yeah, I don't know how that tier managed to reach me, but... We are in a dire position now. But, this isn't, this isn't the streak. This is a new save file. So, we're just playing for fun. We're not worrying about if we die or whatnot. We're not worrying about it too much. We're just having a little bit of fun. Do you know what's not fun? Walking directly into an enemy for fucking no reason. <laughs> that was so stupid. God diggity damn. Yes, managed to get ourselves a little bit of safety there. I don't like these enemies that I have to go behind. Let me in front of you. Especially enemies that I have to go behind and they have tears behind them. Not ideal, is it? Good, good. I know that my keys are pretty precious right now. But I was going to say this room could be really good for us. It was awful. <laughs> It was not very good for us in the slightest. Oh, Scapula just saved me. I was wondering what the hell just happened there. Thank you, Scapula. Oh, it's you. Hello. It's it's big baby boy. Okay. Let's just keep going, let's just keep going. Not in a great spot health-wise right now. But we can make it work. We've always made it work. Yeah, also as well, another another thing that's just adding on to this. I feel, I feel like I'm just not playing well at the minute. Ever since I lost the streak, I've just lost my touch with Isaac. The streak was going so well and I lost it and it just... Thank you, Scapula. <laughs> <laughs> Scapula's going to be saving me quite a few times here, I think. Yeah, as I said, as this character, Scapula is a very, very good thing to grab. Hoping we don't get teleported too far away each time here, because that's going to get really, really old really fast. Lovely stuff. And what's going on with you? Not too much. You chase me as well, okay. A lot of chases in this room. Okay, unfortunately can't get to that, don't have a bomb. So many of these ones that I've got to shoot them in the goddamn back. Leave your backs out of this. Yeah, we've, we've really gained no damage ups apart from this active, so this would have been an abysmal run if we hadn't had this active. I'll take that penny at least. Probably this is going to be where we die. I will try my goddamn best, but... Should 
Should end up spawning a boss soon because I'm killing her too slowly. There you go. Well, that was nice. Hellfire is going to help us out a little bit there. Oh, wow. We skipped the last phase. Okay. Did well on that fight. Good, good. Doubt we're able to afford anything in here, but we got to check. What the hell is this? Fire an additional Herming tier at a faster rate, but with reduced damage if Isaac has no red hearts, plus one black heart. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'm going to take that. Also, yes, because that's the same thing again. Okay, right. We've, we've put ourselves in jeopardy by a, a huge amount here with our health. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we can get one half heart pretty soon. Is that Tinted Rock there? Yeah, we're seeing these Herming Tears that are, for some reason, somewhat invisible. Not ideal that they're invisible. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I was like, hey, I can get a heart from here. My god. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a fun run nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.